Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to update Microsoft Outlook both on your desktop and on your mobile devices. Um, this is a super quick and easy tutorial to follow so if you do find it useful you know what to do and with all that said let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay, so here I am just within my um, Microsoft Outlook application for the desktop. And what I'm going to do is basically update this to, uh, or check first of all, I guess, to ensure that this is the latest version of Outlook uh, available to me. So the first thing that we're gonna want to do is actually just check in um, the ribbon here on the file tab, give file a click, um, and then that will open up all of our options here. And what we want to do is actually click on the office account section here and then under our subscription data um, we'll have this option here that says update options. Now if you don't see this as available you might first of all actually have to enable your um, updates first. Once your updates have been enabled you'll then be able to check to see if you are on the latest version of Outlook on the 365 subscription. So what I'm going to do here is actually just click on the update now, which actually checks um, for and applies any updates for you. And that covers the entirety of the applications um, that you have installed via your 365 subscription. So um, you can do this via Excel, you could do this via Outlook, you could do it in PowerPoint, and it will update them all in one go. So you don't have to do each application separately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the Update Now button. Now this is going to basically go through and just check the version that I have installed. Um, and in this case, I'm actually up to date already. Now if, however, um, you're on a version that actually, you know, is out of date now, um, you'll actually be prompted to um, basically download those new updates. They'll download locally onto your machine and then you'll have another prompt basically saying to save your current work um, and close all Microsoft applications down. Um, and then from there, click continue. It will then actually close off um, anything you haven't closed that is required to be closed um, and install those updates for you. Once those applications have been installed, um, it will then actually reload everything. So the main point of that is to basically make sure that you have saved all of your work before you continue. Uh, and once you continue, it will then apply those updates to each application and then reopen them for you afterwards, um, straight to the documents that you had um, last open as well. Okay, so in this case, I can just close it. Um, and once you, all your updates have been applied, you'll have another pop-up just telling you that it has been applied and you can just go ahead and click on close. Um, and that's the process that you would go through to update your desktop applications on your Windows PC. Now, on the iPhone, it's slightly different. So if we um, just hop on over to um, the iPhone here, um, what we'll first of all, what we want to do is actually um, go to the App Store itself and then actually search for the application that you would like to update. So in this case, I'm going to go click on Outlook um, and search for Outlook. Now, here you'll notice that you can find the Microsoft um, Outlook application and it just says open. Now, if um, you actually had an update available, that wouldn't say open, it would say update instead. So this way you know that you're basically on the latest iOS version of the um, Outlook application. Um, and if you were not, you are prompted to basically um, update that there and then. The other way that you can go about doing this is actually clicking on your avatar in the top right hand corner. And here you can see all of the various different applications that you have available to actually update um, directly on your phone. Um, and the same thing applies to iPads as well. I'm not 100% certain on the Android as I do not own any Android devices, but I imagine it to be a very similar process where you first of all have to go into the marketplace store, um, not the Google store there, and actually find the application and check for an update manually that way. Uh, I know sometimes you can actually have automatic updates where it, it kind of refreshes in the background, um, but I personally 
would like to check and manually make sure that uh, all my apps are up to date. Um, and that's it guys, it's as simple as that to actually go ahead and um, update your um, Microsoft Outlook applications both on the desktop and on your mobile devices. If you found this useful, you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next video.